drivers behind the line. Nope, sit tight. We're just building anticipation. are off for the last time today. We have 42-65 for the Blue Alliance racing across the field, and they've got their scale auto to work. The Red Alliance also has two cubes on their switch. So does the Blue Alliance, and we are off to the races here, folks, with our last match of the finals here today. 1792 is not one to be outdone. They are gonna try to balance that scale as quickly as they can, and they've done it. However, Tech Hounds and Wildbots wanna maintain control of the scale for the Blue Alliance, placing one, two cubes on for Blue. Right now, Red Alliance has control of their switch, and Blue Alliance has control of the scale and their switch. One thing that the Blue Alliance is doing to maintain their lead right now is to have their third robot, 1529, working so hard at making sure that they get cube after cube placed in the exchange for crucial power-ups. 4265 is maintaining control of the scale, as is 868. 868 is also maybe doing some offense for the switches. On the Red Alliance, we have Pike, Robo Devils, and Control Z working hard at also trying to gain control of the scale for the Red Alliance. We have a minute left in this match. Red Alliance has control of both switches and are trying to gain control of the scale. 40, 96, and 10, 18, switching the scale over to, the, to blue. The tide has turned for the Red Alliance here, folks. We will see if it will be enough when the Blue Alliance has such a sizable advantage. There are 40 seconds left, still a lot to happen in this game. Control Z lifting up, dropping a cube. It looks like 868 is having connectivity issues, which is de incredibly detrimental for the Blue Alliance. You know when you see an FTA running, it's usually not a great sign for whatever team they're running to. 15 seconds left in the match. No teams trying to climb. They are all consumed by the scale. 1792 reaching up to climb. 